On the left of the picture in the white turbocharged ID Quattro, four-wheel drives of course, four-wheel drive of course, John Greasley alongside him in a 3.4 litre Porsche, lots of power, lots of weight at the back, lots of grip, another very powerful rear engine car, the Andy Benzer Lancia Stratos, Andy Benzer from Austria, and a lot of the people you saw there in the crowd are from Austria because he's got his own fan club here to cheer him on, and then Bram Van Eyck, that extraordinary looking little car, is somewhere underneath all that bent fiberglass, a Renault Alpine with 1800cc, less power than the other cars on the grid, but very light and very nimble. So the Audi Quattro of Jan de Roy, the Dutchman, third in the championship at the moment, on the left of the picture. Four-wheel drive, lots of grip from this start as we look for the red lights. The lights are red now, there they're green. And it's John Greasley who gets left behind, and it's a marvellous start from Jan de Roy. But the Lancia Stratos comes through, they're absolutely side by side. The Stratos on the outside is just elbowed out of the way by Jan de Roy and the Audi Quattro and that delayed Andy Benzer, the Austrian in the little Lancia Stratos but it's now moving in front Jan de Roy going very strongly but that little Lancia Stratos is catching up after that bumping moment on the first lap and Griesley despite that terrible start is up there and Griesley is up there and the Lancia pulls off the Lancia is out and it's John Griesley who's in second place there goes Andy Benzer's uh, Lancia already out of the race on the first lap and now can John Griesley after that tardy start, catch up to Jan de Roy in number three, the Audi Quattro Turbo. Four-wheel drive bouncing across, lots of oversteer. We hear that Andy Benzer had a puncture, so that was his problem with the Lancia Stratos. And that is Griesley in the black Porsche falling back a little bit there as they've come out of paddock and they're now coming through Chessons. That's where the uh, four-wheel drive of the Audi does it so much good. And the Audi now has really pulled ahead. Now on the tarmac, can the Porsche catch up? The Audi is in the elbow. The Audi is off up the hill. Jan de Roy going up to the hairpin and there is the Porsche at the bottom coming out of the elbow and that uh, it's now on the tarmac that the Porsche has to catch up. John Greasley in the Porsche, one, two, three, the 40-year-old uh, from Aylesbury in Buckinghamshire, but he's not going to get any closer to Jan de Roy now, I think, as they come now down through the paddock. Uh, bend over the bumps once more. There's a lap and a half left of this race to go. A twitch to one side, a twitch to the other from Yandy Roy. Yandy Roy, the Dutchman, is in Chesson's Drift, over the cinders, over the chalk. It's drying out here a lot, and very, very quickly through there, out back onto the tarmac again. Little sliver as his tyres clean the chalk off. He's now on the tarmac again, into the elbow, and if he were to look in his mirror, and as I was saying earlier, oh, and he's off! Yandy Roy is right off! Still lots of chalk on those tyres, I think, at the elbow, but so great was his lead. You see the brake lights flash on in the back window. So great was Jan de Roy's lead that he was able to run wide at the elbow that time, and it didn't do him any harm at all. There is Griesley. You saw a flash of him there, but a huge lead for Jan de Roy in the 2.2-litre turbocharged ID Quattro, similar to the Franz Burtz car that we saw catch fire earlier. There is Griesley bouncing over the bumps in this very pretty... Uh, brightly painted Porsche, uh, entered by Dej Sports, that's John Griesley's own company from uh, Aylesbury, and Jan de Roy, the Dutchman, we used to see him in a four-wheel drive DAF with an engine where the backseat passengers should uh, be sitting, but now he takes the flag in his Audi Quattro, obviously a very, very useful piece of equipment here on the varying services of Lydon Hill. So, first, Jan de Roy in the Audi Quattro, second, John Griesley in the Porsche, and Bram van Eyck in the little Renault Alpine is the third and only other finisher. Andy Benzer falling out with a puncture.